but people sometimes miss the instructions. It is a binary tree. It is not, as in NOT, not a binary search tree. It's a binary tree. Binary tree means every node um, has, uh, generally a binary tree, every node has at most two children. In this case, our binary tree has either zero or two children. It's, there's no one child version for this. So um, when you read through it, hopefully, well, I guess I'll explain why. The tree is a tree of um, experiments. So the, the little story this time is um, uh, the, you know, this, the, the whole time we've been doing these Martian things, the food guys have not been coming through, right? Oops. Yeah. And so now the colony ships are very close and you still don't have any food. So um, someone from another colony um, says, hey, I've got an idea. And what they need is for you to provide software that lets their food science guys um, kind of keep track of their experiments. So they have these plants, and they run experiments to the plants. And each plant, um, they genetically engineered these, right? So each plant always produces two types of offspring. That's why you get two for every, every tree node. And then each plant, when it produces a new plant, it <coughs> is, um, there's three factors that we look at. How fast it grows, how much water it requires, and how much nutritional value it provides and the higher the number, the better. And so they're doing these experiments to try and get the best plant that basically is gonna have the highest nutrition value, highest growth speed, and highest water resistance, or <coughs> I just made it simple to say all the numbers are higher is better. Okay. Um, so they're, they've got the whole system set up to do the experiment, which is in the, um, the file I gave you, experiments.cpp, I think have all of the running experiments code. The only thing you're doing is you're keeping track in a tree <coughs> of the experiment. So you start with the plant, you put that in the tree, then my code generates the two, the two children plants and it puts them in the tree. And if each of those two children plants, I will generate more children plants and you give them to you to put them in the tree. And so you guys have a tree of all that. And then there's also a method that you need to provide which is I will say, okay, Here's, I've done my, all my experiments. Which plant has the best growth rate? And then you have to search through the tree and find the plant with the best growth rate and return that. Um, and then same with water and same with nutrition life. So that's all there is to it. I mean, there's a lot to do, but that's, that's, the, simple, that's like the overall explanation. Does that make sense, yeah. pretty much? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if there are details missing in the instructions or something like that, you need to ask desk soon because it's due in two weeks. Um, the design questions are due one week. So the design questions are not due on Wednesday on Sunday, they're due on Wednesday next week. So you need to get those in. Um, I oftentimes this time of the year get asked, well can I just turn in a few days late? That's really, really, really hard to do because um, the grades are due uh, on Monday following week and I am unless my plans change I am leaving Saturday for Europe um, and I will be it will be very hard for me to do all of the grading and all of that um, it's for work it's not for fun I know it's spring break but it's still I have to go do the work okay. talk about no it really is no no I mean you can pretend it's for fun oh okay yeah so um but no, my boss was telling me today, it's like, I don't know if you should go then. That's really bad timing. You have a whole bunch of other stuff in my day talk to do. I, like, yeah, I know, but this is when I need to be. Anyway, so that might change. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's really, really, really hard for me to move that date. So the 22nd is when it's due. So plan accordingly so that I can do all the grading in the next two days, get it all done. Um, yeah. Question from the, the project I did here. So, are the, the, is there going to be three trees like, no. organized for each? No. Mm -hmm. One tree, one, each tree node holds a plant object, and the plant object itself knows its, um, its, its, its factors. So, this is not a, a search tree, right? So, there's no order to the tree. There's not like uh, all of the highest values are over here. So, we're trying to just traverse the whole tree. 
Right. To find the highest value, you have to search through the whole tree. Sense. Okay. I was thinking it was a search tree. No, like not a search no tree. Greater no. small sense. So one tree. It's a multi-threaded search tree. Object. Yeah, just, that's <laughs> why I started having these flashbacks. I can do that. Jeez. <laughs> you don't have to. No, it is not a multi-threaded search tree. <laughs> it is not a search tree at all. <laughs> yeah, just to reemphasize, you're saying just one tree will hold the plant object and it will search for the highest value. <laughs> right. Okay. One tree, and each node in the tree has a plant object in it and then oh, two children pointers. Mm. So, and so you will have to search through the whole tree then to know which the highest value is. Yes. Okay. Plant Four. object. And it will search for Yes. I didn't see, just making sure I didn't see anything about like removing. No, no removing. Okay. okay. Uh, although the design question says, asks about removing. Points out that it would be a challenge and asks you to tell why. Which is the first. I had the exact same question. Okay. So no removing. No removing. Cool. It's a design question, but no removing. Yeah. So would it be cheating then just to keep a running tally of every time the highest yeah. value? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was an instant <laughs> yes. Uh, because I mean, it would be cheating as in you will lose internal functionality points because that's not doing what. I mean, I can give you the maximum. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I figured it So is the last. Which, which is the last day that we meet? Is that on the next week? Second? No, 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 no. Next week. Okay. Yeah, we don't meet in class during finals week. So this is our second to last class. Mm -hmm. oh. This is our penultimate class. All right. So, so only one week. more week and you won't ever have to see me again, unless you're taking me for two, six months. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I'd say that. <laughs> so, I wonder uh, my schedule's already full. <laughs> okay, so oh, I was gonna ask. I haven't actually written. Do you guys want like a prologue to the story? Do you want like an epilogue? If you feel like yeah. it, yeah. Epilogue, epilogue. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd okay. be cool. Yeah. Okay, so you want to find out like <laughs> yeah. if everyone dies or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> everyone dies. Did they make okay. it? Hopefully, <laughs> everyone's dead. <laughs> Because that's the best kind of ending, like the Star Wars movie when everyone you like is dead. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I agree. Okay, well, I might, about I one might one write a final chapter and um, just, just to see if it's fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's out it's <laughs> okay, so any other questions on the, um, the new programming plan? Okay, so I do want to remind everyone, it is not a search tree. Um, I'm saying it a whole bunch of times because I can guarantee you, I bet you all, you know, $50 million, but I don't have $50 million, it is going to come up in the discussion groups. Someone is going to say, <laughs> Will we lose functionality points if we decided to make it a search tree? Um, I don't know how you would do that. Uh, a multi-threaded oh. <laughs> search tree. <laughs> no, but I, you would lose points for that, but that would be much harder. Um, so, um, and you see, you guys are benefiting from the snow days because no, the original no. plan was you would have written, when you guys go look at the experiments.cpp, you guys would have written that too. Um, mm. But is that five maximum dice? No, no, no. The, the experience CPP thing I brought. Right, right now, but the snow because I couldn't in my mind imagine multi-threaded. I couldn't, I couldn't quite wrap my head around it. Right. But even though straightforward, not implementation, but conceptually straightforward, that was no. That was just really painful. Yeah, so you learn from it. Mm. I think. I think most of you did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Um, and I think you all feel like you know data structures better now than when we started. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You feel like your C++ chops are a little better than they were when you started? Way Which better. Be. Okay. So today we're going to get halfway caught up with our missing day, actually. So we're going to cover um, priority queues and heaps and part of graphs. Then next week we will cover the other part of graphs and then the sorting algorithms. And then that will be everything that we need to do. Will this cover everything that's on the quiz for this weekend? I don't know. Um, <coughs> if it doesn't, I'm sure he can reset it. Yeah, I can. If it doesn't, if, um, if it doesn't cover everything, I can reset it. Uh, move the date. That's fine. Okay. So that's it for questions.
Oops, we're almost done. All right, so we talked about queues, which um, remember, queues are the most boring data structure. 